Hello dear students, how are you doing? I hope you are being well. For today, I'm going to explain unit one in listening, speaking, and academic skills. In unit one, starting out, let us start together. خون کرانی آزیز بو امرو اکسپلین و رونک ناو ادین در باری یونتی یک لکتا بی لسننگ اند سپیکنگ از وی منشنید بیفور فور ایچ یونت وی هاف ثری پارتس ون اف دیم فور لسننگ سکیلز سپیکنگ سکیلز اند وکابلری دیولپمنت فور ریچنگ اور وکابلری این لسننگ سکیل وی هاف لسننگ فور سپیسفیک انفرمیشن اند لسننگ فور گیست اوکی وی ویل نو وات از گیست and checking and confirming information, sentence stress, what can we learn, functional language, and letter names. Let us start and explain everything about this. Listening at college. Look at the photos, work with a partner, match the people with the information they give you at college. We have five sentences. The information about these person or these people. Tell me which information belongs to which one. For example, instruction for registration, formal prepared talks, advice and feedback on a project, advice on borrowing books and doing research, classroom instructions. Emma am zaniari ana man heder bari am kasana bzaning kam zaniari agar to ba kam kas. We have lecturer, tutor, admin officer, teacher, librarian. Okay, let us start. Instructions for registration. Who can help you? Who can give you instruction for registration? Look at the pictures. Try to select the answer. Formal prepared talks. Advice and feedback on a project. Who can give you advice and feedback on a project? Advice on borrowing books and doing research. Who can help you in library and for borrowing books and doing research? Classroom instructions. Okay, which of them working in class and they can help you in, cl in class for instructions? That's clear. Runa, kekele klasaya. Okay, I will tell you the answers. For lecturer, okay, let me bring my pen. Lecturer, instru okay, instruction for registration, formal prepared talk, advice and feedback on a project. In here, lecturer belongs to this one, formal prepared talks. We have tutor, okay? The tutor can give you advice, advice and feedback on a project. He can help you. It means advice and feedback on a project, tutor. Admin officer, admin officer can help you for what? can help you for instruction for registration and we have a teacher the teacher classroom instructions also for this one advice on borrowing books and doing research doing research librarian this person can help you librarian Okay, we have five person and we have five informations, we must to label them, we must to match them together. Exercise number two in this unit. Listen to the teacher giving instructions, circle the correct answer. We have three sentences in here. And for each one, we have three options. While you are hearing the audio, you must to decide which one is the correct answer. Try to circle the correct answer. 
please bring a pen and paper to decide about the answers to decide which one is the correct one تكاي خونت كارون لقل ام اكسرسايز عنيا اوش اتوانن قلم ورقية بينن بقوي بتوانن والله ما كد ياريب كان والله ميراست كاميا سلكتي والله ما كب كان I'll play an audio for you listen carefully and circle the correct answer One point one. One. Right, everyone. Open your books at page twenty-eight. No, sorry, thirty-eight. Two. You have fifteen minutes to complete the exercise, and then we'll go through the answers. Three. Working with the person sitting next to you, read the text about the invention of computers and answer the questions. If you have any problems, put your hand up. You heard this audio? Okay. Can you cover this? Can you cover the audio and select the answer? Do I need audio cover? Okay, I could control it because we will be able to follow my rasta kid yari bkeet. Let us let us select let us circle the correct answer and after that you can check your answers. Turn to page. She said twenty eight. After that she said no thirty eight. Finish the exercise in fifteen minutes. Fifteen. Walk in pairs alone in a group. She said, "Work with a person who is next, who is sitting next to you. Who is sitting next to you? It means in pairs, okay? Work in pairs. Check your answer. Listen again. One point one. One. Right, everyone. Open your books at page twenty-eight. No, sorry, thirty-eight. Two." You have fifteen minutes to complete the exercise, and then we'll go through the answers. Three. Working with the person sitting next to you, read the text about the invention of computers and answer the questions. If you have any problems, put your hand up. Okay, that's clear. You heard the correct answer, and you selected correctly. والله ما راست کد دیاری کرد چه کی ولاما کد بکه بزن براسی دیاری کرد جون و قوتم این پیرز ات میز ویو یور پر ویو یور فرند ویو ویو پرسن هو است نیکس تو یو سیتین نیکس تو یو لگال ها برکت اگر دارم امین جواز لگروپ این هیر وی هاف ا ستادی سکیپ باکس لات از ریدت ان اکسپلین دس وان لیسنینگ فور سپسیفیک اینفورمیشن we often listen for specific information. For example, names, numbers. When you are listening for specific information, number one. Decide what information you need before you listen. Okay. You must decide. You need which information. For example, number, name, year, which information you need. Okay. Pesa bariyar bank ema chazan yariyak man perisa. And after that, read the questions you have to answer carefully. Before listening to the audio, look at the questions. Read them. For example, ID number, room number, computer studies course code. Before listening, you must check the questions. Pesh we go be go be see audio be be pesh the series pesh yara kam ki we be zan chu zan yari kat abe aj maria sala nawa jori zan yari kat show guessing ki bob kain. Focus your focus your listening on the information you need and write down the key information. For example, while you are hearing something, write down the key information. Pesh zan yara ni ki key information ni toya. 
ثانيه راه ساري كان بنوسيت رايت داون اوكي اوكي okay, ان هير لوك ات ذا ستودنتس نوتس ليسن تو ذا كونفرزيشن اند كومبليت ذا نوتس وي هاف ذا تيبل وي ماست تو فولفيل ذا تيبل باي ذا انفورميشن ذا ويل اكسبلين ات ان ذس اوديو اوكي We will listen to this audio and after that fulfilling this. Please bring a pen and paper to write down the answers. To write down ID number, room number and computer study course code. Okay? Let's start. I'll play an audio for you. As I told you, please write down. Write down the answers. And remember th these four points. Decide what information you need. Before you listen, I will tell you that 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 I will you have to answer carefully. Question I will tell you that I will Focus your listening on the information you need. I will tell you that 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 I Write down the key information. Listen carefully. One point two. One point two. Hello, how can I help you? I'm a new student here. I'd like some information, please. What do you need to know? Well, my name's Leila Suhail, and I need to know my student identification number. Leila Suhail. Suhail. Yes, here it is. SC 8831219. Can you repeat that, please? Certainly. SC 8831219. Anything else? Yes. Can you tell me the room I should go to? I'm doing computer studies. You need to go to room F24. Sorry, did you say F24? Yes, it's F24. Thank you. There's just one more thing. Can you tell me the computer studies course code, please? Yes, it's Infotech 304. Can you spell that for me? I N F O T E C H three zero four. Thanks. Okay. Did you write the answers? Okay, ID number. Okay, tell me. Tell me the ID number. S C eight. Eight three one two one nine room number F twenty four okay computer studies course code I and F O T three zero four. Okay. Let's just, let's just repeat it or let's listen again to check our answer. I'll play this again. Check your answers. 1.2 Hello. How can I help you? I'm a new student here. I'd like some information, please. What do you need to know? Well, my name's Leila Suhail. Also, I can show you the text. If you can't cover the audio, you can go to the end of your book. You can look at the texts if you can't cover this audio and I will show you okay dear students I can show you the text
if you can't cover this you can look at the text and i need to know my student identification number leila suhail suhail yes here it is sc 8831219 can you repeat that please certainly sc 8831219 anything else yes can you tell me the room i should go to i'm doing computer studies you need to go to room f24 sorry did you say f24 yes it's f24 Thank you. There's just one more thing. Can you tell me the computer studies course code, please? Yes, it's Infotech 304. Can you spell it for me? I N F O T E C H 304. Thanks. Okay, you hear this one and check your answers. Let's move to another one, another exercise. Listen to three announcements. What is the general idea of each one? Match A to C with announcements one, two, three. We have three announcements and we must to select the general idea for each one. Okay. Emma say Ragenda Ragenda woman here. Please say Emma. Be calm, Zani Ariana. Be hard, Zani. Can help sharing a camera. If you want to be calm, calm. ID, Gishtia, Darbari, or announcement. And also, we must to listen to the audio. After that, we can decide about this one. Okay. I'll play an audio for you. Listen carefully, and. Please decide on this. Select your answers. After that, you can check your answers. I will tell you the correct answer. خود لایل این خود او و هر وقتم خاله مورقه یک بنا ولی مکد یاری بکه با اویدیاتر چکی ولی مکد بکی که ولی مراست که کمه. I have some announcements to make, so listen carefully. The college bookshop is now open, so you need to go there to collect your books. It's closed all day tomorrow, so I suggest you go today before 6 p.m. Don't forget to take your book list. Two. Next, the college needs to have your mobile phone number, so all students need to give it to their department secretary. Please do that today, if possible. We may need to contact you about changes to the timetable. Three. Finally, don't forget there are two lectures this afternoon. Dr. Lewis will talk about how college life is different from school life, and I will give a talk about how to use the new computer program that we've put in the library. Both of them start at three. You can choose which one you come to. Both lectures will be repeated on Wednesday. Okay, dear students, you hear this audio, and for the first one, you must write down the keywords. Okay, the keywords it means the most frequently used words. Write down the keywords and the most important words in that speech. پس تو کی وارد کنم بنویسی که گرین تریم لوش کنن که تو گوبیستی ابی و زیاد لجاری کش دوباره اکرتا. Okay, for the first one, talking about bookshop. Second one, college. Okay, college. Number three, lecture or talk. Talking about lectures and talk. Okay, choosing a talk belongs to which one? Buying, collecting something. کارن یا خود کوکر نوی هندک شد. Giving information. پیدانی زنیاری. Which one belongs to which one? For number one, talking about bookshop, it means buying, collecting something. 
Number one, talking about buying and collecting something. Number two, as I told you, talking about college. And which kind of information about college? How can you give information? How can you bring or how can you collect information about college? Second one, giving information. And number three, talking about a talk by that doctor or talking about lectures. It means choosing a talk for that lecture. Number one, number two, and number three. And also we have the text in here. You can check your answer by looking at the end of your book. Okay, we have a text of this. For number one, talking about what collect your book, sorry. Collect your books. And number two, next the college needs to have your mobile phone number. Okay. And number three, okay, there are two lectures. Dr. Louise will talk about how college life is different from school life. Okay, that will be easy for you. Let's move to another one, another exercise. Life as a college student. In here we have a study skill box. Before reading this, let's move to the study skill box. Listening for guest. Guest, what does it mean? Sometimes we listen for guest. It means general meaning. Okay, when you are listening for guest, look at the pictures, visual, and titles before listening. Don't worry about details, listen for the main idea. Okay, in my hand, then I go again for guest. It means then I go to like a general idea. Bo biro ke gikishti ya khud mana ki gikishti darbari o texta darbari o audio ya. When you are listening for guest, kate ke ma bajoi ma basi sareki na. Ani u channel ma basi gikishti audio ke ya agarin ba gikishti ke. Please and look at the picture. Say do ena kapke visuals har shte ki bin rawi terka haman bed and titles before listening. Check the title. When I come back in, please I will go back in. Because I'm not going to be able to read the book in Brown. Don't worry about details. Listen for the main idea. Can't worry about carrying your pen out in. Then have the main idea. Ya khud bo biroki sare ki kan agarin. Bagishti le baba taka arwani. Okay. If you are going to listen for the guest, okay, you must look at the title. For example, in here, the title is Life as College Student. And also check the picture. Look at the picture. We have this girl. She is studying. I think she's at the librarian. She's at the library. And she's studying. In here, in this exercise, exercise 1. Point four belonging to this one listening for guest. I got to avoid a make ten ha. But man, man, I can't get it. Yeah, good. Be okay. I can't get it. Let's have a bit of a word between. Do you know? I'm bad. It's all about the carry ten ha. But get it okay. Listen to the start of Dr. Louise's lecture about college life. Which sentence gives a summary of each part of the lecture? Zanin. Come, let me know. اتوانید سمری پخته کم باتی درباره او سپیچی که لالان دکتر لیویز وارک خرابو بود جوازی نمان جانی جامعه و هر واج جانی سکول. Sorry about college life. درباره جانی کالج. دکتر لیویز want student students want students to enjoy college. College life is not same as school life. You need to work independently at college. It's best to work in the library. The most important thing is to pass your exams. Students should work hard at all times. You should beha behave like an adult. 
You must hand in your work on time. We will hear the conversation that Dr. Louise's speech. After that, we can decide for number one, which one is the correct option, and number two, number three, and number four. Listen carefully to select the answers. I'll play the audio. 1.4 One. One. Hello, I'm Dr. Lewis. I hope you're enjoying your first week at college. I'm going to talk about the student contract and what we expect from you at college. You know, college is very different from school. Here at college, we expect a lot more from you. Two. Firstly, at school you had homework, but at college we expect you to work on your own, to work independently. That means you need to learn how to use the library. We expect you to read books, check information using the internet, ask questions and find out the answers yourself. Three. Another difference is we expect high quality work from you. We want you to show us that you are a serious student, that you really care about your work. We expect you to work hard at all times, not just enough to pass your exams. Four. Finally, here at college, you are an adult and we treat you as an adult. You are not school pupils anymore. We expect you to be really interested in your subject, to behave well, and to arrive on time for lectures. We also expect you to hand in your work on time. Okay, you hear it. The speech about Dr. Lewis. Okay, let us try to select the correct option for each one. Number one, Dr. Louise wants a student to enjoy college. Our college life is not the same as school life. Which one is the correct option? Of course, this one, college life, Gianni college or Jawaza, la Gianni school, la Gianni octab khano, Jawaza, Lake Nachan. Okay, you need to work independently at college or it's best to work in the library. Which one? Of course, A, option A, you need to work independently at college. And number three, the most important thing is to pass your exam or students should work hard at all times. You should behave like an adult you must hand in your work on time must okay of course for number two the right option is a and for this one and the most important thing is to pass your exam or students should work hard all the time this one and you should behave like an adult you must hand in we don't use must okay لبر او must زيادر بحالتي امر كردنو اجباري كردنا she said sorry he said we expect not must check it we expect okay to hand in your work on time not you must and the right options for this one is A, okay? Be careful, B, A, A, sorry, B, A. The right or the correct answer will be like this. Check your answers and we can select the main idea like this. I'm at که ایده کن دیاری بکن فکس مال سری بذ، بالام پیش او پیش اوی تو گویی بیست اودیو کبی پیسر 
آپشن کانت خوانده بتو اما دکاریت بکرد به بای بتوانی گویستی او بی که خود اتوه چه زنیاری کت ایو بشونی ها بگرید and that's all about gist and selecting the main or general idea we have another exercise and we must to listen to the audio after that we can fulfill this exercise fulfill this one some college have some colleges have contracts between the college and the student listen again and complete the contract we have this contract we have this agreement between the students and the college student contract working independently and completing work and being professional i'll play an audio for you please try to fulfill these gaps by the information that you will hear you'll you'll be here the audio and after that you must fulfill them learn to use the okay read dash check dash ask find out and in completing work this one belongs to working independently and these belongs to completing work caring about what and working hard being professional be interested in behave arrive hand in your work i'll play an audio for you let's fulfill these gaps by the information you will hear One point four. One. Hello, I'm Dr. Lewis. I hope you're enjoying your first week at college. I'm going to talk about the student contract and what we expect from you at college. You know, college is very different from school. Here at college, we expect a lot more from you. Two. Firstly, at school you had homework, but at college, we expect you to work on your own, to work independently. That means you need to learn how to use the library. We expect you to read books, check information using the internet, ask questions, and find out the answers yourself. Three. Another difference is we expect high quality work from you. We want you to show us that you are a serious student, that you really care about your work. We expect you to work hard at all times, not just enough to pass your exams. Four. Finally, here at college, you are an adult and we treat you as an adult. You are not school pupils anymore. We expect you to be really interested in your subject, to behave well, and to arrive on time for lectures. We also expect you to hand in your work on time. Okay, you hear it. Let's write down the answers. Learn to use the library. Read books. Check information. Check information. Sorry about my handwriting. Ask questions. Find out. Find out. Okay. Find out. Okay. 
I will write this in here. Find out the answers. By yourself. And care about what? Caring about your work. Work hard all the time or at all time. Be interested in your subject. كحزد لبابة كان بيت لو أنا كان بيت أو سبجكت أنا كهاتا behave well تخرجت باش بيت arrive on time لكاتي خويا بقيت and hand in your work submit your homework your work on time ولكاتي خوشي دا أركا كانت بيت بما مساكتو سبميتي بكيت okay. The answers for this exercise will be like this Let's move to another one In this exercise, exercise number 7 Work with a partner Write 5 differences between college and school That will be a homework for you Homework for you, writing five differences between college and school life. Your, your homework for this week will be this. Write five differences between college and school. Kata, homework tambu am haftea amea, jawazi nema kutab hano. College life bonusen, pen jawazi ka aya jawazi kachiele newanian. كتو هاتو تتا كوليج هو چه جاوازي كي هبو لغل سكول تا اوكي only five only five differences no more than five in here in this part, speaking part, checking information. How can you check information? Okay, in here, in exercise number one, work with a partner. What information do you need when you start college? Okay, tell me, what information do you need when you register it at college and when you start college? Where can you get the information? Okay, what information do you need when you start college and where? Where can you get the information? In where? From where you can get information about this college? Okay, think about like this. Think like this. You are the college students and that will be your first day at college. How can you get information about your college? How? How can you ask for information about your college? You will ask whom? To a Cambridge Telejamia, Chon Atwani, Lequi Atwani Zanyari does become their body of Shona, their body of college, or Leke a proceed. Tell me. Okay, I will write down. What information do you need when you start college? What information do you need? Or where can you get the information? Maybe some students said, I will ask my friend. Ask my friend. Or ask a teacher. Ask, sorry. Ask a teacher. 
uh, asking another student. Ask another student. Or you can check students. Okay, sorry, students. Students, what? Students information table. Kata e me chum betuan in zanyari o man tas kaj darbari u jam me ke me kam brosh mana ya kam brosh register pkein. You can ask your friend or ask a teacher or ask another student. Check students information table. Students information table. This one is a student's information table. Okay, a lot of information you can get it from here. We have a lot of information. For example, college map. Okay, your you are searching for your faculty and you don't know where is, where does it located. You can look at the map. You can check this map to find your faculty to find your department. You can know by this. Okay, by this information in this information table and class lists. You're in class A or in class B. Check your name and you can find this. You're belonging to which one? Tutor groups. Group A, group B and group C and the other groups also. You can know about the tutor groups, the tutor names for each group. Got it, one it. I'm students information table at one in uh, map Kharita Shwana command this because what class I can I class a ya could be now a kid like I'm gonna what her what her name mom socket and also you can you can have a first aid in here what what for the other is that I have and also fire actions for firefighting or her what I could you know she lay and also some instructions about what you can exist from here it means you can get a lot of information from this table if it, there isn't any person in that place or another you can't see another students you can look at this table to get information about this college and also in here we have another exercise match the questions with the answers we have four questions in here and we have four options we must to select the right options for right answer, uh, questions selecting the right options for the right questions what is your English teacher's name we have it's in room D4. It is HS 45772. Mr. Prize, it's next to the library. Second one, which room is the English class in? Number three, could you tell me where the cafeteria is? What's your ID number? Try to to select or to label the questions with the answers, with the options. Try to do it. What is your English teacher's name and which room? And also, what is your ID number? Okay, tell me where the cafeteria is. Try to select it. Okay, let's listen to the audio and check our answers or check your answer. 1.5 1. What's your English teacher's name? Mr. Price. 2. Which room is the English class in? It's in room D4. 3. Could you tell me where the cafeteria is? 
It's next to the library. 4. What's your ID number? It's H S four five seven seven two. Okay, you hear it. What is your English teacher's name, Mr. Price? Which room is the English class in? It's in room D4. Could you tell me where the cafeteria is? Of course, it's next to the library. And what is your ID number? It is HS45772. Okay, work with a partner. Write four similar questions, then ask answer them. I will ask four questions for you and you can answer them by yourself. And also you must write down four questions and you can ask your friend. من چهار پرسیار انسان بوده و یه وقت توانم به همان شیو چهار پرسیار بنویسم لعور کتان بکن پرسیار کن لو بکن ولی ما که بذس مهانن What is your father's name? What is your father's name? Second one. What is your phone number? Which room is your room? What is your email address? I wrote four questions for you and also you can write down four questions and ask your friend. What is your father's name? What is your phone number? Which which room is your room? What is your email address? Okay, you can ask for questions and you can ask your friend. In here in exercise number five, we have a study skill box. Listen to the complete listen to the complete conversation. How many questions did the student ask? Okay, we must know about the questions. How many questions do we have? In here in the study skill box, we have checking and confirming. Checking and confirming information. Checking it means while someone asking you a question, you must check this information. کاتی کسی که زنیاری کرد ادایتی تو پیست زنیاری کرد چک بکید که ایم بستی او با فر اگزامپل یو کن سی کن یو سی دا اگین پلیز کن یو سی دا اگین اند کنفرمین کنفرمین ات میز جخت کردن و جخت کردن و که ایا او انصاری که برام برکه من امان ناته راستا ام اکید اکین و جخت کردن و کاتی چکین من هی وی هف چکین اند کنفرمین انفرمیشن while the speakers tell us some information, we must to check it and we must to confirming this information. We have some expressions belonging to checking and some expressions belonging to confirming. I will show you in here in this table, we have checking and we have confirming expressions. We can use these questions, these questions for what? For checking. At one in Prisiarana bo check kirdim bakar behini. And we can use these expressions for confirming. O amanish bo jachat kirdnawa. Awani bo checking bakari ehenin. Most of them 
or all of them, they are questions, okay? We use questions to be sure to check our information. Can you spell that, please? Can you repeat that, please? Can you say that again, please? Did you say, is this right? For example, my father's name is Ali. My father's name is Ali. You want to check it. Is this right? At the check it, Kate. Is this right? And you ask me, is this right? Sorry, is is this right? Ali, is this right? And I must to confirm. I must to say, yes, that's right. Yes, of course. Yes, that's right. Okay, got Emma checking man here. Wahar waha confirming man here. Checking boy zain zani arika tawawa. Wa confirming ka jahad kino la rasu drusi yahud la halay. O zani aru informational. Okay, we have can you spell that please? Can you repeat that, please? Can you say that again, please? Did you say, is this or that is? And for confirming, we have, yes, that's right. No, it's not. No, that's not right. I'm afraid that's wrong. Okay. This one and this one for being sure about that answer or for being sure that answer is wrong that is not right but this one we use this one for the correct answer yes that's right and no i'm afraid that's wrong okay you can confirm your information to be sure or that's correct or not make the speaker to be sure شاخد بكيتو كزاني يا ريكا الطواوة وهروا ام اكسبرشن هانا بكار بهنين بو تشك كردن و بو كونفرم كردن ان ان هير باك تو هير يو كان اس كوشنز تو تشك انفوميشن باي كوشنز وي كان تشك كان يو سي ذا اجين بليز and also people can ask you questions to confirm information. You can use polite expressions when you reply. Okay? Replying for what? For confirming. You can use, yes, that's right. No, I'm afraid. That's wrong. That is not right. Okay? Using this one for replying and using this one, using this question for what? For checking the information. And I will show you another one, another exercise. Okay, we must to listen to exercise, sorry, audio 1.6. Read the expressions in the language bank, listen to the conversation again, take yes. The expressions you hear okay I'll play an audio for you and tell me in that conversation they use which expression for checking and which expression for confirming I'll show you the text also I'll play the audio and show you the text okay before hearing the audio before playing the audio I will show you the text let's read it together okay we have admin officer and student good morning can you give me some information please good morning yes of course what would you like to know okay well first of all what's my id number my name is Maria Sanchez Gonzalez. Let me see. It's HS45772. 
I think you should write it down. Okay, H is four five seven seven three. It's right. No, it's not seven seven three. It's a seven seven two. Okay. While I'm reading this, please look at this bank, this language bank, this table, and focus on checking expressions and confirming expressions. Okay. In here. Uh, okay. Oh, thanks. And which room is the English class in? Let me check. Here it is. It's in room D4. Sorry, did you say D4? Okay. In here, is that right? We have this question for what? This question belongs to checking. For checking. Okay, this one for checking. And... We have this one. No, it's not. For what? For confirming. This one for checking. And this one for confirming. Okay, now let me check. Here it is. It's room D4. Sorry, did you say D4? Did you say D4? This question use it for what? Use it for checking. Yes, that's right. This is confirming. Kaut em persiar man hea, kader bari zanyaria kea, cheki zanyaria ka akat, wahar wa duater jachet, lesser zanyaria ka akeno, blerasti udrusti. Kateka reply akren, pesa ma jachet li lepkeno ka arasa ya hutna. Yes, that's right, belong to confirming. Okay, anything else? Yes, please. What's my English teacher's name? Mr. Price. Can you spell that, please? This one, this question belongs to what? Belongs to checking. Yes, please. Okay, where is it? Okay, can you spell that, please? Belong to what? Belongs to checking. Yes, it is. Belongs to confirming. Can you repeat that, please? Also belongs to checking. Okay, could you tell me where the cafeteria is? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? We will discuss this later. Thank you very much for your help. Not at all. Have a nice day. Okay, I will play the audio for you. Listen carefully and focus on these expressions. Use it in checking and confirming information. Okay, listen carefully. 1.5 1. What's your... One point six. Good morning. Can you give me some information, please? Good morning. Yes, of course. What would you like to know? Well, first of all, what's my ID number? My name is Maria Sanchez Gonzalez. Let me see. It's H S four five seven seven two. I think you should write it down. Okay. H S four five seven seven three. Is that right? No, it's not seven seven three. It's seven seven two. Oh, uh, thanks. And which room is the English class in? Let me check. Here it is. It's in room D four. Sorry, did you say D four? Yes, that's right. Anything else? Mm, yes, please. What's my English teacher's name? It's Mr. Price. Can you spell that, please? Yes, it's P R I C E. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, please? P R I C E. Thanks. And one last thing could you tell me where the cafeteria is? Next to the library. <laughs> Thank you very much for your help. Not at all. Have a nice day. Okay, let's decide. Let's check this table and to know. Okay, in here, listen to the conversation again. Okay, listen to the conversation again and take the expression you hear. PSMA, checky, yahoo, tiki, or expression on a kinky gravy seaboy. The expressions that we hear in here. 
Okay, we hear it. Which one? We hear it. Can you spell that, please? Can you repeat that, please? And also, did you say these questions use it for checking? And is that right? Also, for confirming, we hear it. Yes, that's right. No, it's not. We hear these expressions for checking and in confirming information. And if you have a question, don't hesitate, please write a comment below. In exercise number seven, before reading this, we have a study skill box about sentence, st sentence stress. In English, we stress the important words when we speak. Okay, we must to stress on what? On the most important words. Stress, it means what? It means you must to say that word in longer and louder voice. In longer and louder voice. Louder voice. Okay. When you want to say something in longer and louder voice, it means that word is important in that sentence, in that text. For example, it's next to the library. Can you spell that please? Stressed words and syllables are longer and louder. Okay? It means longer and louder. أو شان ديك بدين كي برستر وهروا بدو يدرستر أخوان رنا. It means they are stressed on and they are very important. أو أنا قرنا لرستا كذا بوي ستريس خراوت سريانو شواز إخوان رنا وكي جواز تركا لو شكاني تر. Listen to the expressions. Underline the stressed syllables. In here we have nine sentences in here, and we must to decide. By listening to the audio, after that we can decide which word stress it on. Okay, I'll play an audio for you. Listen carefully and underline the stressed word. The word is the stressed on. I'll play the audio for you. 1.7 and let us decide. 1.7 1. Can you spell that please? Sorry. 1.7 1 Can you spell that please? 2 Can you repeat that please? 3 Can you say that again please? 4 Did you say 3? 5 Is this right? Six. Yes, that's right. Seven. No, it's seven, not eight. Eight. No, that's not right. Nine. I'm afraid that's wrong. Okay. Every language has its own music to say or the, for the intonation. In your speaking okay you must to make your voice to be louder and longer or shorter in sometimes as I told you every language has its own music and the music in here in English language we must to stress on the most important words or stress at syllables stress on syllables for example number one can you spell that please okay we have a stress on spell and please. And second one, can you repeat that please? Repeat and please stress it on because they are the most important words in here. Can you say that again please? Okay, again please stress it on. And also, did you say three? Did you say three? And the other one, is this right? Is this right? Yes, that's right. In here, 
focus it on what yes and right stress it on yes and right the other one no it's seven not eight seven not eight and the other one no and right stress it on and the last one i'm afraid that's wrong afraid and drawn stress it on listen again and focus on these underlined word to be clear to be clear for you we can stress on the most important words listen again دوباره گویل بگرنا با او بزن او شن استرس خراو تسری کمانا 1.7 Can you spell that please? 2 Can you repeat that please? 3 Can you say that again please? 4 Did you say 3? Five. Is this right? Six. Yes, that's right. Seven. No, it's seven, not eight. Eight. No, that's not right. Nine. I'm afraid that's wrong. Okay. you hear it and you know about stress how can we stress how can we say a word in longer and louder voice just stress on the most important words in a sentence in here in this exercise number nine look at the student id card then complete id card a with your details in here we have this study uh, this id card okay student id number department course code and tutor the tutor's name and also we have this id card a and b you can complete id card a with your information about yourself complete this one about yourself and this one about your friend okay you can do it Another part in this unit, we have a vocabulary development. What is a vocabulary? In here, vocabulary for reaching your vocabulary, for developing your voc vocabulary, we have some ways. In each vocabulary development part, we have some ways. For example, in here, focus it on what? Focus it on what can we learn or how can we learn? Okay, we have the study skill box. Use the words and expressions in the box to complete the table. We must fulfill this table by these given words. But before doing that, let's read this study skill box because they are like a heart for each part. When we learn vocabulary, we can learn. Study skill boxes summarize everything for us summarize the most or crucial points for us when we learn vocabulary we can learn single words multi words and expressions we have three types of words single word only one word one word okay only one word and second one, multi-word items, it means two words together, one plus one, using two words together. Expressions, that's clear, it means more than two words, it can be an expression. Single word like college, student, advice, and multi-word items, I told you it means using two words together, like get up phone number got a single word and i was on a multi-word but i didn't do 
make our expressions more than two words together. Yes, that's right. And this one is expression. In here we have this table for single word, this site for single words, this site for multi-word items, and this type, this site for expressions. We must divide these words or write them under the best title. Information, this one is a single word and we wrote in here. Yes, that's right. This one belongs to which one? Yes, that's right. Belongs to which one? Decide on this. Look for course code. Can you repeat that, please? Teacher, room number. I'm afraid that's wrong. Did you say? And independently. Okay. Yes, that's right. Belongs to expression. Look for, we have two words, multi-word. Course code also multi word, room number multi word, independently single word. Did you say I'm afraid? And can you repeat that please? Belongs to expression. And also we have a teacher, teacher belongs to single word. It means teacher and independently belongs to this one. And the other one, these three belongs to expression. Look for course code room number belongs to multi-word items because using two words together. And that's all about this. We have three types of words, single word, multi-word and expression. In this exercise, exercise number two, read study skill look at the expressions in the table and tick the correct function then listen to the conversation again to check in here we have some expressions we must to decide they use it for what for wh okay for which of them for which functions they use it for checking or confirming asking for help or giving advice can you give me or it's right is that right could you tell me yes that's right can you repeat that please I think you should could you spell that please okay we must decide on this but before doing this let me show you the other study skill box functional language in here we are focusing on functional language we often use expressions as functional language for example we have check okay checking information and much number one check information okay before before that we mentioned a lot of expressions that we can use for checking information and confirming information also we mentioned that before asking for help and giving advice for checking information is that right and can you spell it can you repeat it can you say that again please and for confirming information and for confirming information yes that's right asking for help could you help me please? And sometimes checking information, the question for checking information belongs to asking for help. Asking for help also. checking information, asking for help. And giving advice, I think you should. I think you should belongs to what? Giving advice. Or it is better to, you need to, you ought to, belongs to this one which is giving advice. I'll play an audio for you, 1.6, and after that, tell me, okay, these expressions, use it for which one? Checking, confirming, asking for help, or giving advice? Okay. You can see the text in here, and decide on this. 
decide on it. Can you give me? Is that right? After that, you can check it because we hear the audio. I don't want to play this again. You hear it. Can you give me? Can you give me belongs to which one? Of course, asking for help. Is that right? Second one, is that right? Belongs to which one? Of course, that's a question I belong to checking. Could you tell me? This one belongs to asking for help. And yes, that's right. Belongs to which one? Belongs to confirming because you know which expressions do we have for confirming and for checking. Can you repeat that please? This one belongs to which one? belongs to checking I think you should of course belongs to giving advice and the last one can you spell that please according to that text according to that conversation this one belongs to checking and also for asking for help okay but the conversation can you spell that please but checking for asking a help or asking for help okay and that's all about this literal names in the English alphabet there are 26 letters five of them are vowels and the rest are consonants Okay, we have 21 consonants and 5 vowels in English. Listen and complete the information. My teachers, we must do listen to this audio and after that we must fulfill these gaps, these spaces by names. My teacher's business and the name of this teacher and maths. We have two lecturers or two teachers for this math subject. We must write down the names of the teachers. And English, for English we have a teacher, we must write down the name of the English subject teacher. I'll play the audio for you and write down their names. 1.9 1.9 Please take note of this information everyone. The teacher for business 151 is Ms. Davidson. That's D-A-V-I-D-S-O-N. Excuse me, can you repeat that please? Yes, of course. D-A-V-I-D-S-O-N. Now, the maths course, Maths 177, is taught by two teachers, Mr. Monaghan and Mrs. Roberts. Can you spell the first one, please? Yes, it's M-O-N-A-G-H-A-N. Did you say J-H-A-N? No, it's G, not J. And Mrs. Roberts. Is that R-O-B-E-R-T-S? Yes, that's right. So, where are we? Business, maths, okay. Lastly, the teacher for English 163 is Miss Taylor. That's T-A-Y-L-O-R. Can you say that again, please? Yes, it's T-A-Y-L-O-R. O R. Can you hear this audio? Did you write the names of the teachers? I'll write I will write the names and check your spelling, check your answers. The first one, business one five one. We have David.
Davidson. Davidson. And maths, we have two teachers, Munahan. G H A N and we have Mrs. Roberts. And the second teacher of math is Mrs. Roberts. And English, Miss Taylor. Okay, that's all about unit one starting out. And please look at the review and try to do it, try to solve it. I will upload the review for you in another video. Review can love you. Kitra button upload a can. Malam tika ya khutan seri ki pkan checki pkan. Bazan integish tun ya khutna. Okay. If you have a question, you can ask. You can comment below. That's all about unit two. Uh, sorry, about unit one. About unit one. Have a good time. Goodbye.